kick it, Jackie Chan. Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. You know, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown Barrett. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here on the World of Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of the 2007 Green Bay Packer Rebuild here on Madden 24. We are entering the final stretch of the series. We have two episodes remaining including this one so you better buckle up because we are ready to go. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club, and let's continue the rebuild. We have now been going for, I think, I think, 14 years. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that is the correct math. 27 to 2024, I think, is 14 seasons. That could be really bad math. And it probably is because I'm very dumb. But I'm going to put that out there. <laughs> I'm going to put that out there. So we've been going for a long, long time. That is for sure. But we are almost done. We have to load in the 2024 draft class. This is the final one. I have a bunch of different 2024 draft classes. Um, I'm going to do this one. This is the most recent one I updated after the draft actually happened. So this one should be the most up-to-date with like, oh, Caleb Williams is going to go number one overall, all that kind of stuff. So this is the one that I'm actually going to use. And hopefully it works out pretty well. It looks like it's got everybody at the top that should be at the top. So we'll see how it goes. All right, that is the 2024 draft class. Next episode, we are not going to load in a draft class because we won't be going to that off season. We'll just be going through the regular season and then the playoffs, and then we'll wrap everything up at the end of that video. So this is the final final season where we'll actually get to see the draft class and go through it. This is what the team is rocking with headed into the final series or final videos of the series. We've still got Patrick Mahomes, and we're getting away with robbery, highway robbery by franchise tagging this man the entire time he definitely should have bazooka he should probably have definitely should have protected should definitely have hot route master he should totally have fearless he should probably even have quick draw and he should probably have pocket dead eye i would assume either pocket dead eye or dashing dead eye probably dashing dead eye because i do like to run around a little bit so if i ever play with mahomes this mahomes then he probably should have dashing dead eye so those are his abilities and stuff but we are yes i understand that wasn't that player model wasn't patrick mahomes it's what happens with the mod it just glitches out sometimes so we have going off of a bunch of championships in a row a bunch of super bowl appearances in a row and we are stealing patrick mahomes by franchise tagging him repeatedly this is the second season we're entering the second season that we have franchise tagged patrick mahomes and you know what? Since we only got one more episode after this, I'm going to try my best to do it again <laughs> this offseason. If we can get away with a third franchise tag, I don't know if the game will let me, but if, if we can get away with a third franchise tag, I'm definitely going to attempt it. I'm going to try my best to do that. So this is the team that we have. Zeke is the starting running back. Stefan Diggs, Amon Ross St. Brown, DK Metcalf, Cooper Cup, uh, Debo Samuel, Dante Moncrief, very good wide receiver core, very good offensive line, great tight end, Mark Andrews. And then on the defense, it just keeps getting better. You got Khalil Mack, Nick Bolton, Josh Allen with Fred Warner as well. You got Landon Collins and Kevin Byard. You got great defensive line with Hall of Famer Aaron Donald. You got Dante Fowler, who's been a really good piece for us. Greg Rousseau, Tariq Woolen, Chris Gonzalez, uh, Christian Gonzalez. You got Vernon Hargraves, who's been great. I mean, this team is just absolutely bonkers crazy. So I'm excited to see if we can go back and win another championship like we have the past few seasons. Is there a way that I can see season recap without having to be in to the end of the season? I don't think there is, can I? Player stats, legacy leaderboards, team stats, career... No, I don't think there is a way that I can see the season recap, but I can go here and see all of our awards. So we've won six Super Bowls in this time span. We have... Uh, won nine nfc titles we've lost in three super bowls so that's kind of upsetting but we do have six super bowls to our name that is i think three for mahomes right three for mahomes two for 
RG, no, two for Rodgers. So, Mah oh no, Mahomes has four Super Bowls. My apologies. Four Super Bowls for Mahomes. Two for RG3. Wait, two. He only has one. I thought he, I could have sworn he had, he had two. Where's Rodgers? Are they not even going to have Rodgers on here? Is he just gone from existence? Where is Aaron Rodgers at? I guess Aaron Rodgers doesn't exist. Okay, that's interesting. Whatever, but Aaron Rodgers I know has two. So that would make sense because that e that would equal six, right? So I think, right? So Rodgers has two, RG3 has one, that's three. And then Mahomes has four? That would be seven. So how in the world do we get to six Super Bowls? That can't be true. I've been, I've been Mike McCarthy. I know that's Matt LaFleur. I've been Mike McCarthy the entire time. How do I only have six Super Bowls and not seven Super Bowls? Wait. I'm so cute. I don't know. Go back and watch the series. You'll know how many Super Bowls we've won. <laughs> it's too complicated for me. It is too complicated for me. I'm going to simulate the season, the halfway point. We'll get back at the, the week eight mark and we'll see where we stand. I'm hoping and praying that we can actually dominate this season. Maybe even go perfect. That would be awesome if we could go perfect. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Let's simulate to the halfway point of the season and figure out where we stand. We are halfway to completing my goal of going undefeated. We are 7-0 to start the season here at week number 8. And I am hoping that that stays true and we can go undefeated. That'd be pretty awesome to kind of like cap off the series. I think we have the best team we've ever had, including the best quarterback we've ever had. But it's time to do some national focus. I don't even know what my scout is. My scout is outside linebacker safety. Okay, um, that's not great because that's not one of the strengths of the class. But we'll do outside linebacker just because it's not one of the weaknesses, which strong safety is. So we'll do outside linebacker. It's not that big of a deal. We can always add in some outside linebackers. We do have Khalil Mack on the team who's a little bit older at this point. All right, so we have negative money. I don't know if I'm going to be able to franchise tag Patrick Mahomes for a third season. I really hope it'll let me, but I don't know for sure. Stefan Diggs, we're going to have to do a little bit more uh, good old-fashioned restructuring of contracts. I don't know how many I'm going to be able to do. We can try that right now, actually. How many restructured contracts can I do? I can't do Aaron Donald. Can't do Khalil Mack. Can't do Zach Martin. That's not looking good already. Can't do any of these guys. Can't restructure. Can't restructure. I can restructure Mark Andrews. Is that really even going to matter? Da Dante Moncrief, Mahomes, Fred Warner I can do. Who else? DK. Okay, so we're getting some of the cheap deals. I say cheap in quotes. We're getting some of the cheap deals that are able to be restructured. But some of these expensive contracts at the very top, that would make a big difference. Uh, not able to restructure those. We can restructure Jalen Hurts' contract. Okay, that's not really going to do anything, is it? Vita Vea. Who else? Anybody else? Buda Baker, I guess. Is that really going to matter? Maybe. Who knows? If it helps us get one or two guys back, I guess it's all worth it. Aaron Jones we can do. But at this point, these contracts aren't really worth anything, so they're not going to really change that much. Like, we're freeing up 530 k Is that really going to matter? No, it's not going to matter at all. So with all those contracts restructured, what does that leave us in negotiations? Negative 2.9 million. So we're almost to positive money. We are almost to positive money. There's got to be a couple more contracts that I can do that, that get us to positive, right? There's got to be. So if we go down here to like Cooper Cup, there we go. Cooper Cup I can do. Antoine Winfield Jr. I can do. Who else? Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. All right, perfect. Christian Gonzalez on a rookie deal. Greg Rousseau can't do. Craig Humphrey. All these guys are on rookie deals, so I can't do them. Dre Greenlaw, though, I can do him. And we're getting into, like, the teens. That's not going to be really that big of a, of a difference, so... It looks like all these guys are on rookie deals still. So these guys aren't going to matter. Okay. So that is basically every single contract that I can restructure. That leaves us with $27 million. That's actually not as bad as I thought. That could get us Debo and maybe Josh Allen. Maybe. It probably won't get us Khalil Mack back. We can obviously accept the options on these guys. So we're probably going to lose Stefan Diggs, most certainly, because I'm going to use my franchise tag if I can on Patrick Mahomes. So... We're, we're going to lose Stefan Diggs, but he's been here since the very beginning. He's been a, a big-time piece to this puzzle. But if we can bring back Allen and Debo, 
and then lose Khalil Mack, that'd be okay. I'd be fine with that. Do I actually have negative money in cap, or can I trade these guys? I have negative 234 million in cap, so I can't trade any of those guys, so we are going to lose them. Let's keep advancing here and get to week 11 so we can see the goodies. We can see all the good stuff. And of course, the very first week that I, I uh, simulate after we cut is a loss. That makes perfect sense for Madden. So the perfect season is gone, unfortunately. Kind of annoying. If we go 16-1, and I'm going to be very upset. Because <laughs> why not just give me the win? Why not just give me the, the perfect season? All right, so we made it to week 11. Who are we going to scout? It doesn't really matter because these guys, unfortunately, aren't going to make any difference. They're, they're going to be backups at the best. So they're not going to matter whatsoever, which is kind of annoying because these guys are all very, very good. So who do we go after? Who do we even scout? Probably some defensive guys, right? Because we're going to be losing a lot of defensive guys in the draft. And we just need defensive guys in terms of uh, whatchamacallits anyway. Depth. So let's do Dallas Turner. Let's do... Uh, let's do Latu, Latu, excuse me. And then we'll do uh, Johnny Newton, Jerzon Newton. So we'll do those two guys, or those three guys. Those will be our guys. I don't even know what draft picks we have. I haven't checked. Usually I check at the beginning. I did not check to see what draft class or what draft picks we have. If we go over here, we have picks number nine and then number 32 from us. So the Giants need to continue to suck so that we can have a top five pick in the draft. That would be awesome because then we can come away with a really good player and maybe he does make an impact. Who knows? But now I'm going to simulate to the end of the season. We will see if we can still only lose one game. We also got to keep ahead of the Vikings because the Vikings are 8-2. and two. They're right on our tails. So we got to keep on keeping on. It's going to be pretty difficult. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season and hopefully with some really, really good news about only losing one game. We made it to the playoffs, and unfortunately, we did, it looks like, lose two more games. So that's unfortunate. 14-3 and three on the season, but hey, still the number one seed in the NFC. Still won the division, even though the Vikings had a crazy season with Jameis Winston as their starting quarterback. All right, big dog. Patrick Mahomes, I just saw, yes, he did lead the league in passing yards and passing touchdowns. He is a demon. 4,800 yards, 49 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. I think it's very safe to say that Mahomes has been the best quarterback we've had in this series, and that includes Aaron Rodgers. So, hey, it is what it is. 78, oh my God, I didn't even register this. 78% complete. This man almost had an 80% completion percentage on his passes. That is unreal. In 541 attempts, he had a 78% complete. That's crazy. That's actually insane. That's wild. Zeke had a fantastic year, 1,300 yards and 15 touchdowns. Uh, Mark Andrews and Stefan Diggs, that's right, we are in the Kansas City playbook. I forgot about that. Mark Andrews, 1,200 yards, 18 touchdowns. Stefan Diggs had 1,200 yards, 11 touchdowns. Amon Ra and Dante Moncrief both had really, really good seasons. Uh, defensively, we had 108 tackles from Nick Bolton, 86 from Hargrave, 75 from Woolen, 72 from Baker, 15 tackles for loss from Greg Rousseau. Then you got uh, Aaron Donald with 14, Mack with 9, Josh Allen with 9, and Kenny Clark with 9. Sack leader was Aaron Donald, no surprise there, 12 and a half, 10 for Rousseau, 5 and a half for Mack, 5 for Dante Fowler, and then the pick leader, Piek, was Landon Collins with 2, and then 1 for a bunch of other players. Dominant season on both sides of the football, and now we got to go to the playoffs, take on a division rival. This is going to be a tough game. This is by no means an easy game. It's never an easy game in the playoffs. We win, though, 31-24. to Beautiful. Expertly done. Now all we got to do is get through Green Bay. Nope, that's us. Get through Atlanta. <laughs> and we can go back to the Super Bowl again and try to win another one with Patrick Mahomes. We are going to jump in, help the team. Let's get it done. Hit that like button. Let's go beat the Falcons. I'm pretty sure when I was loading into this game, I saw that the... Atlanta Falcons now have, uh, I didn't mean to jump in here, the Atlanta Falcons now have the white Odell Beckham Jr., which is pretty awesome. He used to be on our team, but we had to let him go because we couldn't pay him. But Odell Beckham Jr. arrives in Atlanta, and he's leading them team to the NFC title game, and we're down, or we're tied seven, now it's 14-7. to seven. Field goal by Atlanta. Another field goal by Atlanta. Come on, boys, get it done. Get it done, Patrick. There it is, 21-13. Good job, defense. Get the ball back, but we give it right back to them. We get it back again. 
It's going back and forth in the fourth quarter. We got to put some points on the board. Come on, put some points on the board. I don't like this. And they tie it up with a two-point conversion. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's overtime. And we went on a field goal. I'll take it. I will take it. Big field goal in overtime. Gets the job done. The fact that... Oh, Dwayne Haskins, rest in peace. Uh, the fact that uh, Mahomes went head-to-head -head with Dwayne Haskins and uh, had to go to overtime is, is kind of crazy. But I think Dwayne Haskins has progressed to be a very good quarterback in this league. Obviously, he's lead, he's the quarterback of a team that just went to the NFC title game. Although they only won like nine games. But they took us to the overtime, so they, they must be pretty decent. But now it's time for the Super Bowl. It is time for the Super Bowl against Jacksonville of all teams. Okay, is that the same team we've played the past couple of seasons? I feel like it is. I feel like this is like the third year in a row we've played Jacksonville. Am I wrong on that? Or is that true? Well, I guess we'll take a look at the season recap when we get done. I'm pretty sure this is the third time in a row we've played the Jacksonville Jaguars. Can we do it again, though? Can we beat them? I think we can. I think we're the better team. Mahomes is great. Let's go do it. Here we go. Super Bowl, Jacksonville versus Green Bay, I think for the third year in a row at the least. It could be four if I'm not if I'm uh, incorrect on that. I apologize, but I think it might be. It's at least three, maybe four. We do lead ten to seven. As long as we can get the better of them once again. Oh, uh, something happened. Did I hit a wrong button? I might have hit a wrong button here. Hold on. Okay, we are back. I think I pressed the wrong button on the controller and it backed me out of the screen. We're all good though. It's still the same. It's still the same game. Seventeen to seven. Seventeen to fourteen. Come on, Mahomes. Put another one in the end zone there. There we go, 24-14, build that lead. But Andrew Luck and the Jags are fighting back. Hold on for this victory, Aaron. Not Aaron, Patrick. 31-21, <laughs> come on, boys, get it done. They score at the end of the, the game, but we hold on for the victory. And the Green Bay Packers are once again world champions. The dynasty just keeps on growing. Patrick Mahomes is becoming the greatest quarterback to ever step onto a football field in this universe. He's too dominant. Andrew Luck couldn't stand a chance. He can't tie Mahomes' shoes. And it cut out again. I apologize. I'm not sure what's going on with uh, the game, why it's cutting out of the, the thing. But we've seen this celebration before. We might as well get, to the, get through it before we uh lose the whole footage <laughs> i don't want that to happen it looks like we're still recording on both audio and and video so that's good all right so we win another championship we will have to uh we will have to see on the season recap how many super bowls in a row that is and how many super bowls against the jaguars that is i'm very curious to see so Upgrade players, it should just be yeah, a bunch of the practice squad guys. All right, so season recap, what do we get? Season recap, we get Mahomes winning the MVP of the league and the Super Bowl. Um, Marvin Lewis gets coach of the year of the Jaguars, funny enough. Najee Harris and Miles Garrett are the players of the year. CJ Stroud on the Dolphins and Will Anderson Jr. on the Cardinals are your rookies of the year. But that is one against the Jaguars. Oh, it was the Broncos and then the Jaguars. I knew we played the Jaguars before, but it was the Broncos in between. Okay, that makes more sense. So, two out of three is not bad for the, against the Jaguars, but it was the Broncos in between them last episode that uh, that we played. But that is, that's one, two, three, four. Four in a row. Four in a row, but five appearances in the Super Bowl. Six appearances in the Super Bowl. That is a lot of championships. Let me do this again. Let me do this again. Let's go back to 2007, the first one we had. We weren't in there. Weren't in there. Weren't in there. This one is the first one that Rogers we made with Rogers, but we lost, so we're 0 1 right now. Then we got this one. Rogers got this one. We are now 1 1, or 1 2, excuse me, in Super Bowls. Then we went back to back. Rogers won, won his second championship. We're now 2 for 3. Then we're. Uh, two for four. This is the first one, I think, with RG3. We're now two for four. Now we're three for five. RG3 got one. Now we are three for six. RG3 lost another one. So he lost two out of his three appearances. That's not good. But now we're three for six. Now we are four for seven, because Mahomes got his first. 
Now we are five for eight, six for nine, and seven for ten. Seven championships in ten appearances is not too shabby. I will say that. And Mahomes has four. So, wait, no. How many did... Oh, God. <laughs> How many did Mahomes have? I got to do the math now. So, Mahomes appears right here. So, this is one, two, three, four. So, Patrick Mahomes does have four now, cha four championships now. So, that math actually does make sense. I don't know what that legacy leaderboard thing was saying. Okay. Now that we got that all figured out, we can go to the most important part of the episode, which is the re-sign period. What is going to happen here? Can I franchise tag... Patrick Mahomes I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna be able to uh, okay so we got to option oh I forgot to do the I forgot to sign the players before I uh, simulated so we're gonna lose out on like Josh Allen and Debo Samuel that's my bad I forgot completely forgot about that because now we have negative money so we're gonna lose out on a lot of people but at least we keep our offense line together with Penesul and Creed Humphrey all right, please don't, please don't let me lose Patrick Mahomes. Withdraw offer, back out, go back in. If it doesn't say franchise tag here, we are screwed. Come on, Patrick. Yes, franchise tag, 63.9. I keep doing it. I'm sorry, Patrick. It's not like you're playing for free. You're getting $63.9 million per season. I apologize, though, because I know that playing on the franchise tag is not ideal for a lot of people. But I keep on robbing Mahomes of, of millions upon millions of dollars by franchise tagging him every single season. That's the third year in a row, I think, the third year in a row, that we franchise tagged Mahomes. That is hilarious. All right, so we're losing out on a lot of really good players. Stefan Diggs being the best one. Khalil Max, great. Uh, we all, also lost out on... Uh, Josh Allen, who's gone now. So we lose on a, a lot of good players that I would have liked to keep around, obviously, but we just simply cannot because we got no monies. So let's simulate to the draft and get this thing underway. So at least for the final episode, next episode, we will at least have Patrick Mahomes, which is nice because that, that gives us a chance to go back and win a fifth Super Bowl in a row, even with the lesser talent that we might have um, in terms of just lower overalls than the guys that we just lost. But having Mahomes really uh, evens the playing field for us. So getting him back was was really nice, really crucial. I do want to see where Mahomes, or where uh, Stefan Diggs and Khalil Mack signed this offseason. Oh, I can't. I guess not. I guess I can just go to rosters and see where they signed. So if we go to all of the NFL and we go to wide receivers, Stefan Diggs now plays for the New York Giants. Okay. He signed with the Giants. Very interesting. And then we go to, I think he was an outside linebacker. Khalil Mack, he signed with the Cowboys. Really? Really, Khalil? You signed with the Cowboys of all people? That's just disrespectful. That is just disrespectful. All right, so it's time for the draft. I did, Actually, I didn't see where the other pick was projected. What'd they give us? The New York Giants... Oh, no, they had a good season. Oh, no, where are they? Wait, 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 wait. Did I pass this already? Okay, 20. I was gonna, I was getting a little bit worried for a second. Like, they had a, an unbelievable season, made the, made like the NFC, or the AFC title. Wait, no, they were in the NFC, so they would have played in the NFC title. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was getting worried, but they're only at number 20. And then, obviously, we have the final pick. So, we will see what happens here. I do want to take a look. I guess it doesn't really matter, but I want to take a look at our team and see if there's any, like, big needs we have. For this final episode mark andrews now officially an x-factor he should have been an x-factor last episode probably we have good wide receivers we've got a good running back obviously don't need a quarterback don't need offensive line except for maybe a left tackle we do need linebacker depth because Dre greenlaw right now is playing both positions we'll just put fred warner there for now he might have to end up playing there so we do need linebacker depth outside linebacker depth and we probably could use maybe another d tackle and maybe another edge rusher. So basically defense is what we need to focus on in this draft. Okay, that's good to know. Let's start drafting and find out. Number one pick is the LA Rams. They will take Joe Alt. Okay, Caleb Williams goes number two to the Raiders. Brock Bowers, number three. Marvin Harrison to the Titans at four. Malik Neighbors is five to the Colts. 
Dallas Turner goes to the Cardinals. Jared Verse to the Niners. Fashanu or Fashanu to the uh, Jets. Darius Robinson to the Commanders. Latu to the Steelers. Romadunze is headed to LA for the Chargers. Dolphins get Braylon Trice. Bills get Fautanu. Fautanu? I don't know. Keon Coleman going to the Browns. The Buccaneers get Drake May. Chop Robinson headed to Chicago. Great. Now we have to play against them. Byron Murphy to the Panthers. Lions get Johnny Newton. Jerzon Newton. Uh, Fuega goes to the Broncos. And now we are up. So I think there's still some really good defensive players. Like all the corners are still available. Yeah. Cooper DeGene, Quinion Mitchell, Nate Wiggins. All these guys are still available. Plus JC Latham, Toronto. I mean, oh my God. The, the cornerback room is fantastic. There's a lot of cornerback room, uh, a lot of cornerback depth here. There's also some good linebackers. We could take Adisa Isaac in the second round. That might be a, a pretty decent shout. Although we have pick 32 of the second round. He might not be there. Might not be there. But, ooh, Edger and Cooper could be, I guess. But I, I, we're not going to take a... We're not going to take a linebacker in the first round. I'm thinking corner here because all the corners are still available. It kind of feels like the real-life draft where all the corners fell to late in the first round or even the second round. So, I mean, we got our pick of whoever we want. We could take Cooper. We could take Quinion Mitchell, who a lot of people think is the best corner in this class. Uh, Nate Wiggins is super fast, I think, right? This is the guy that's super fast. He's only got great speed. He should have elite speed, probably. I'm probably leaning Quinion Mitchell now that we're in this situation. I mean, maybe Terrion Arnold. He's also got really good speed. We could go Cooper, but I think I'm leaning Quinion. Although Cooper might just be a little bit better. He's not as fast, but he does have the better press, better zone coverage, and man coverage. He might be the better option. I think Quinion is, is going to be my guy, though. I'm going to go Quinion Mitchell. Out of Toledo, that's a big pickup. 94 speed, 92 excel. He'll fit in with the, with the corners, that's for sure. And then we have pick 32. We'll have to see which linebackers make it to that pick. There goes J.C. Latham. Cooper DeJean headed to Houston. Peyton Wilson, Jackson Powers Johnson. Amarius Mims. Tavondre Sweat. Blake Corum to the Patriots. Ah, oh, I hate that. Uh, Tyler Guyton. Cameron Kinchins. And Nate Wiggins. All right, now we are up again. So anybody that I want in terms of linebacker is probably going to be gone by the time we get to our next pick. So, do I want Edger and Cooper right now? I might. He look. Oh, God, he looks really good. I think I'm going to take Edger and Cooper here. Although, I want to take one last look at Adisa Isaac, because he could also be pretty decent. Uh, he looks good, but not first-round pick good. Edger and Cooper at least looks first-round pick good. So, I'm going to take Edger and Cooper here. Only normal development. That's okay. He doesn't really need to play too much. But we just needed some more linebacker, outside linebacker depth. That's fine. I'm fine with that pick. And we'll see if any of the big-time names make it to the second round. Probably not. Uh, none of the corners make it, it looks like. But we could get Jalen Polk. Big-time Patriot. Running back, wide receiver, Xavier Leggett. Devontae Walker. Ricky Purcell. He went in the first round, didn't he? Either that or the second round. I can't remember. I know. I think it was the first round, actually. Um... Javon Foster. Mm, am I feeling any of these guys? I might be feeling Blake Fisher, but probably not in the second round. How about D-Tackle? Ooh, Michael Hall's here. I'm going to take Michael Hall. We need to D-Tackle depth, so I'm going to grab Michael Hall. That adds a fourth D-Tackle to the team, and that's exactly what we were looking for anyway. So, basically, we've already hit on all of the the things that we need we needed outside linebacker we needed d tackle and we needed um corner and i got those guys so let's look at like defensive line again gabriel murphy justin ebba ebba go i don't know how to say his name i don't know how to say his name in real life i don't know how to say it in the game either that's ah, too bad <laughs> uh let's see let's see no d tackles outside linebackers tommy eichenberg's available Who's this guy? Trevin Wallace from Kentucky with good speed. I'm going to take him. Hidden development. Let's go. Another outside linebacker piece. More depth on the outside side. Outside side? On the outside positions. And then we get to the fourth round. I might grab a receiver here just because there's a lot of wide receiver depth. Malachi Corley, Jalen McMillan. 
Oh, there's Javon Baker, Patriot. Luke McCaffrey. Um, who's the fastest? Is Malachi Corley any fast? He's got 4-4 speed. Okay, I like it. I like it. What about Jalen McMillan? Solid speed. Nope. Sorry, Jalen. What about Jerry Rice's kid? Brandon Rice. 4-6 or 4-4-6 speed. Nope, not feeling it. I'm gonna go with Malachi Corley here. It's not really a big deal. It's just uh getting a wide receiver because I wanted one. We don't really need a wide receiver. But at this point, we don't really need anything. At this point, we don't really need anything. There's not really any other position that we could use. I don't want to go over one of these corners. I mean, maybe we go Kyrie Jackson because of our Oregon save that we got going on right now. But there's not... Bobby Lashley! Oh, Bobby Lashley. Okay, I thought I thought the big Bobby, big Bobbles was in here. If you know, you know. Okay. Uh, well, who else do we got? Defensive line's not really feeling it. No. Not really feeling it. I don't think there's going to be any good offensive linemen either. I think we just let the CPU handle the rest of this draft. I don't think there's going to be anybody that I have to have. So we're just going to let the CPU handle it. We did a good job with the draft. I'm happy with it. We got basically all the positions that we needed to draft. We did. We needed an outside linebacker. We got a couple of them. We needed a backup D tackle. We got Michael Hall. We needed a corner. We got freaking Quinion Mitchell, who some think is the best corner in this class. 76 overall for Quinion Mitchell. 73 for Cooper. 71 for Michael Hall. 68 for Trevin Wallace. Corley's a 71. They took Addison Rowe in... He's a 64. They took Kyrie Jackson, who's a 70. That's cool. I'm fine with that. I probably would have taken him myself. Best player in the class is Marvin Harrison. No surprise. They're 82 overall. Brock Bowers, Malik, Malik Neighbors, Caleb Williams, yada, 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 yada. Who cares? Because we are defending four-time champs, four in a row, and we are good. We are good. Absolutely good. So let's adjust the lineup and get this team ready for the final season, the final video. This is what we will have to end the series. One more video to, to, to go. One more video remains. Amon Ra now moves to number one receiver, and we will see how we go from there. The team looks good. It's obviously not as dominant as it was in the past, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be. I'm actually going to move... Fred Warner to outside linebacker again. I know he was there before and we moved him to inside, but now it just makes more sense to have him as the outside linebacker. So we're just going to do that and he can just start right there. So perfect. Now that's perfectly fine. We add Michael Hall to be the D tackle. We got great corners. We got great safeties. I mean, this team is still championship worthy. It's just a matter of, and that's mainly because we have Patrick Mahomes. It's just a matter of, will the simulation be kind to me? Probably not, but we will find out. Hit that like button if you went on to enjoy this video. The next episode of this series will be the final one. It's going to be a sad one because we've been doing this for a while. But if you enjoyed, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Thank you so much. Stop by and watch. I truly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.